Imagine if I forgot to actually cut that out of a video before I put it on YouTube. <gasps> What's up, guys? 41 here, the paid uh, battle state shill to keep you all not upset with the company, just so you give them uh, money and don't think on your own. Happy to be back. So before we get into why you guys are going to hate my fucking guts, I'm really genuinely, as I'm speaking right now, debating if this is even a good idea for a video to make. We got some good news to look at. Let's look at the good news. Check this out. We got another post from the Kita. Things are really getting better. Slowly. But surely they're getting better. So we have some clarification regarding additional features of different EFT editions. All right. I've skimmed this. I haven't read everything, but so far it looks good. So let's talk about what EOD owners are still going to benefit from, what they're going to gain from all of this. Access to PVE. It's confirmed. It's, it's going to be rolled out for EOD owners. No more six months shit. Okay. If it was still going to be six months, it would say it. Faster insurance, increased personal trader purchase limits. I think we've seen, we've already seen a lot of this. If I've seen this before, I'm going to skip over the PMC karma, uh, the special stimulant craft. Don't know what this is, but I guess it's EOD only increased charisma starting. Somebody post in the comments, just how important the charisma skill is, because I don't know. I've never gotten it past four nostalgia quest line. Is that already in the game? I feel like there was already a mission called nostalgia. Isn't it Jaeger's? photo album or something unique pmc dog tag i feel like this should have always been a thing eod owners should have always had like a crown as their dog tag like their little icon is unique armband eod should have had that as well unique item with call in mechanics legacy device ability to call in a friendly btr once called the item will go into cooldown so i'm not exactly sure what this means nikita has trolled the fuck out of us before there used to be a a backpack that was a prize uh, you could win by winning really early, like, Tarkov contests. And it was called uh, the Meme BSS. And it was a giant 5x5 five five backpack the size of, like, a Lucky Scav junk box. And it had one slot in it. It was the prize. So he's either trolling here or this is only on streets. Which I don't think would be that bad because you can already walk up to the BTR and buy it to use it. Uh, I guess this device would just make it friendly i wonder how that's going to work if two people have that device if it's friendly for both of them that'll be interesting because the first person to use the device is going to be really fucking surprised when their goddamn tank isn't shooting somebody else unique pmc upper and lower clothing so we're going to get clothes just for owning eod that's okay i like that but let's make it so the other versions can buy them from ragman Maybe at like level 30 or 40. <clears throat> Voice crack. The ability to replace two daily tasks per day for free. I like this, but I also think at the same time, they really need to spice up the daily tasks and cut out some of the fat because some of them are fucking dumb. Let's be honest. Some of them are really stupid. Ability to change nickname, icon, and color. They definitely watched my video. So far, th they are slowly implementing everything I think that they should. So this means if you're going to get unheard, you're going to be able to go back to your golden EOD crown, which is what I'm going to do. The blue swirl is cool, but I want my crown. For owners of standard, prepare for escape and left behind editions, increase stash size by two lines. Ability to purchase access to PVE mode separately. So it looks like they listened to giving it to everybody but it will be behind a paywall, which if this is just what they would have done in the beginning and been transparent about it, we're going to sell the PVE mode as a DLC for everybody that doesn't have EOD or unheard. I think people would have been pissed like, fuck, man, how much shit do we got to pay for? You know, like Arena now this. It would have been received a lot better than this mess. So another step in the right direction. It's just not what we wanted. But I guess we're not going to be able to have our cake and eat it too. For owners of Unheard, the unique radio electronic item Mark of the Unheard will be active in PVE mode. Only in PVE mode. You know, maybe I should make sensible, level-headed videos more often because they're doing literally everything I have suggested. Was that not our suggestion in the first video I made on this fiasco? Unique item Distress Signal Device will be available in both PVP and PVE modes. This item must be recharged in the hideout using high-end items. 
So it looks like only the Mark of the Unheard is going to be in PvE only. And they're going to keep the Distress Signal device in both modes. I thought they both should be PvE only. But it looks like you're still going to be able to call in your friends. I just hope it's not like 10 people that all come and shit on somebody that thinks they have one, you know, fucking noob pinned down. And then all of a sudden there's 10 guys there. Like, how's that even going to work? Are they going to drop in from a helicopter? Or are they just going to spawn behind the person that called them in like in Battlefield? We'll just have to see how it works. Maybe it'll be fucking useless. Maybe you're going to be able to tell when they call somebody in. Maybe if you kill the person that called people in, you can just sit there and wait for them to spawn in and fucking kill them as they spawn in. I don't know. It might end up having to be an item that you use extremely carefully. A $50 coupon for Tarkov purchases, additions, expansions for those who have upgraded from Edge of Darkness to the Unheard of Edition with the old price. So you get 50 bucks back to use on clothing, stash increases, uh, hopefully gun paints in the future, whatever. Whatever else they're going to sell. Unique PMC upper clothing, the cultist jacket. I like this. This is super cool. This is a nice perk. But with something as important as cultist in general, I think their gear, you should be able to buy it eventually from either Lightkeeper or Ragman. I think everybody should be allowed to get this eventually. I don't think clothing should be exclusive to versions of the game. However, I do think there should be exclusive pay for certain clothings. Certain clothings are monetized only. But also, don't stop making clothing in the game to be able to unlock with in-game money. Don't, don't make it like Overwatch, where there's nothing uh, in Overwatch you can buy anymore with the old currency. You've got to pay for everything now. Every once in a while, release something you can buy for in-game currency. Unique PMC dog tag, ability to change nickname, icon, and color. For owners of all, other, all editions other than the Unheard Edition, the ability to obtain the item's mark of the... What did I say? They should be... What did I say in the first video? Make it so you can get it without it. Boom! Everybody can get that now. They listened. Thank you, Battlestate, for listening. Ability to obtain expanded PMC pockets through in-game quests. So what is there that the Unheard of Edition offers now that you can't get otherwise? I don't think it's anything. I think the only thing the Unheard Edition is now offering, along with EOD, is... PVE. Everything else is obtainable. For all owners of Edge of Darkness, ability to obtain the legacy device through in-game quest. Ability to replace one daily task a day for free. It's still good. The ping limit for PVE mode will be removed for all editions. So if you live in Cambodia and you've never been able to play Tarkov with people, uh, now you can in PVE. I wonder if you can kill your friends in PVE. Someone... Someone write in the comments if there's friendly fire in PvE. I don't know because I've played it solo only. We will inform you in advance about the order and time of appearance of all these changes. So, I've had a long day of mowing lawns. My brain is fried from the Florida fucking sun. It was 98 fucking degrees out all goddamn day. I think we got everything that I asked for in the first video. Not necessarily what you asked for, but what I asked for in the first video, I think we got it all. I think we got it all, with the exception of like the extra guns and ammo and shit you get um, with the Unheard of Edition. But if you've got more than 100 hours in Tarkov, you know that getting free shit doesn't do anything. Yeah, in the beginning, you're going to be able to M80 tap fucking noobs with Paka, but those noobs are going to evolve out of that Paka within hours at least in my experience confirmation bias i know horrible fucking thing but i'm not trying to sit here and toot my own horn um i don't know what other content creators have said or done i'm not watching their videos because i think though everybody has every right to be upset adding fuel to the fire is only going to make things worse and i'm a little disappointed in some of my buddies who are just continuously shoveling coal into this hate trains engine like we're getting what we're asking for i don't know i don't know if that's a ridiculous take for me to 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 have or not but so far i've gotten i believe I, i'll have to go back and rewatch my first video i think i've gotten everything i've asked for i don't know about you but i have and that makes me happy that makes me genuinely happy so on to why you guys uh might hate me you're gonna hate me 
I fucking love the PvE mode. I streamed it Monday or Tuesday, and I had the most fun playing Tarkov than I've had in probably since the first year of me ever even discovering it back in 2017. Or whenever the alpha ended. Whenever that was. That was the game was fun back then, and it's kind of just been a nightmare ever since. I played for four hours. My chat, you know, I'm kind of like a... I kind of did queso before queso was ever a thing, if you know who that is. My chat loves when I goof around. They always tell me wrong information on purpose just to see what I do. And I had so much fun, I couldn't believe it. I had fun streaming in general. Streaming ever since I, I lost it as a full-time job, just it felt like a impossible to enjoy hobby and I, I i did it reluctantly the few times i've done it in the last year i've streamed probably less than 20 times in the last year i enjoyed it and i want to do it again and i'm gonna do it again so follow my twitch so i, I know it's gonna piss off a lot of people but that pve mode is everything i ever wanted there's no fucking cheaters there's no goddamn exit campers there's no giga chads that are infinitely better at the fucking game than me and just wipe the floor of me i was able to go in and do the missions, and farm scavs, and kill the AI PMCs, who have insane gear, by the way, and I had fucking fun. And that, above everything else, is what matters to me the most. At the end of the day, they can fuck up as much as they want, but if I can still have fucking fun, that is very important to me. One of my biggest regrets with streaming was growing to hate the games I was playing because of the way other motherfuckers made the games. Cheaters, exit campers, you fucking name it. How they tur- what, what they turned the game into. Destroyed it for me. And now that this PvE mode is real, it's official, I can play it whenever I want, with whoever I want, it's an absolute dream come true for me. And I'm never... Never going back to PvP Tarkov from this day forward. Especially once mods get added. It, it has only given me more incentive to want to keep supporting the project. <coughs> Voice crack! And I know that's not what people want to hear. And I'm sorry for that. It doesn't change that I have your back on these ridiculous fucking decisions they tried making in the first place. It'll never get rid of that. Anyway, I've yammered on long enough. I don't like this talking head shit. You guys know that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Kickstarter update. It's at 20% of the way already. You guys are incredible. I can't thank you enough. Seriously, thank you for that. I, I met with two customer, new customers today. I gave them quotes. They both like it. And I start working on their property once I get a truck and uh, a trailer to pull my zero turn. And they were willing to wait for it, which was nice. Thanks for watching, everybody. The uh, views on the videos have been great. I would never thought in a million years my audience would enjoy this type of content and honestly if we can keep you know keep the engagement going you guys are making wonderful conversations in the comments you guys like all the videos if uh you know this keeps up maybe i'll keep covering stuff from time to time i like doing this it doesn't take long it takes me 20 minutes to shoot a video then an hour to edit it and then it goes to youtube i make the thumbnail in 30 seconds so thanks catch you in the next one